Denise, thank you. I have a two-part question. Go ahead. Chaz Tenenbaum had since elementary school taken most of his meals in his room, standing up at his desk with a cup of coffee to save time. In the sixth grade, he went into business, breeding Dalmatian mice, which he sold to a pet shop in Little Tokyo. He started buying real estate in his early teens and seemed to have an almost preternatural understanding of international finance. He negotiated the purchase of his father's summer house on Eagles Island. Hold it, Chazzy. Hold it right there. What are you doing? You're on my team. <laughs> there are no teams. Ah! <laughs> the BB was still lodged between two knuckles in Chaz's left hand. Margot Tenenbaum was adopted at age two. Her father had always noted this when introducing her. This is my adopted daughter, Margot Tenenbaum. She was a playwright and won a Braverman grant of $50,000 in the ninth grade. She and her brother Richie ran away from home one winter and camped out in the African wing of the public archives. Hi, Eli. You said I could run away too. No, I didn't. And don't tell anyone you saw us. They shared a sleeping bag and survived on crackers and root beer. Four years later, Margot disappeared alone for two weeks and came back with half a finger missing. Richie Tenenbaum had been a champion tennis player since the third grade. He turned pro at 17 and won the U.S. Nationals three years in a row. He kept the studio in the corner of the ballroom, but had failed to develop as a painter. On weekends, Royal took him on outings around the city. These invitations were never extended to anyone else. Richie's best friend, Eli Cash, lived with his aunt in a building across the street. He was a regular fixture at family gatherings, holidays, mornings before school, and most afternoons. 